Good morning, afternoon, evening. I know that we've got people from around the world joining. Really good to have you here with us today. I'm Jonathan Armstrong, head of Brand at Arm, uh, and we're incredibly excited today to announce the partnership between the Aston Martin Aramco Formula One team and Arm, a landmark multi-year partnership, making Arm the team's official AI compute platform partner. We've got some key people here today um, that have been driving this partnership forward. Um, to my left, Ami Badani, Arm's Chief Marketing Officer. Jessica Hawkins, Head of F1 Academy at the Aston Martin and Ramco Formula One team and a racing car driver. Dipti Vachani, SVP and General Manager of the Automotive Business at Arm. And then Charlie Blackwell, Head of Electronics at Aston Martin and Ramco Formula One team. Guys, great to have you here. And let's dive in. It's, it's a slightly surreal atmosphere. We've got a, a Formula One car behind us. Um, but Armie, maybe we can, we can start with you. This is a major new partnership for Arm, isn't it? Um, what does it mean to you and, and the company? Yeah, I, so I'm, I'm super excited to have the Aston Martin team here today with us. And, you know, we've been kind of looking at different ways where we can make a positive impact and change in the world. It's incredible that we've been able to get the Formula One car, the Aston Martin Formula One car in, inside this space today. Uh, and so as we started to think about how meaningful a partnership with the Aston Martin Formula One team could be for ARM, and quite frankly, for me personally, there are two areas that I think really stood out. One was around equity. And if you look at the world of motorsports, specifically Formula One, one of the things you realize is that there's no female F1 mm -hmm. drivers today on the racetrack. And I think as I started to look into kind of the history of Formula One, which I'm new to the sport, and one of the things you realize is that there's actually only two female race car drivers ever that have raced in the Formula One Grand Prix. And then you look at things like the garages, which are super critical operations for each and every Formula One team. And what you realize is that there are very few, if, if any, female engineers actually in these garages. And so as we started to talk to the Aston Martin Formula One team, one of the things we realized is how can we make a positive impact in change in the world of motorsport, both on the track and off the track. So that was one of the things that's kind of at the heart of our partnership together. The other is around innovation. And with ARM being a compute platform, bringing AI expertise really to the Aston Martin team around driving performance and efficiency, one of the things we thought about is in the car, what can we do to really impact that? And then there are things like the pit stop where milliseconds matter and how can we implement ARM-based technologies in something like the pit stop? Or you think about the terabytes of data that are processed off the racetrack and what we can do with ARM's compute platform to really drive performance and efficiency. So it's those two areas that we plan to really collaborate around. One is around equity, and the second is around innovation and, and really driving our AI expertise with the Aston Martin team uh, for performance and efficiency. So those are the two areas that I think uh, we're really looking to collaborate around. Really interesting. Jessica, if we come to you next, as, as part of the partnership, you are now an official ARM ambassador. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, great to have you on board. Um, what does this partnership mean to you and the team? It's a, it's a unique partnership, isn't it? It is. And I think aside from the obvious, the, the technical partnership, which is very exciting in itself, I think what I'm most passionate about is how we align on so many of our core values. Um, I'm very passionate about, as are everybody at Arm, in creating a space where and an environment where the younger generation have something to look up and to inspire to. Um, and as Amy said, it's if a young female was to, to, to look at Formula mm. One, she may not know that she's able to race in it. Mm. She is she is able to, but she may not know because she can't see it. And I think it's about creating a platform where we give opportunity to those to see it. And if they can see it, they can believe it. Um, in, we're passionate mm. about inspiring that change in the younger generation and um, we're going to be working closely together throughout the year looking working on projects like international women's day yep. and inspiring that change as i said and it's that to me there's so many of my core values that that i've grown up and i'm passionate about and i think we just share that passion between us and as i said before our, our visions align and i'm very excited and proud um to be working alongside aston martin around co formula one team and arm and I just think we're all very well aligned. Brilliant. And you've had first-hand experience going through 
Formula One and, and obviously the F1 Academy. So it's been great to hear your yeah. journey personally. Yeah, and creating opportunities for leadership roles for women, yeah. um, being a part of and, and leading up our F1 Academy program is something that I absolutely love. Um, and we need to see more women in leadership roles and, and enabling women to believe that they, they deserve to be there as well. And I think we do that by creating visibility, by showcasing that we're good enough. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be, enough. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are all giving me a boost as well. You, you know, you guys and girls and giving me an opportunity and, and I'm passionate about it and, and I'm not as much as I haven't, I'm passionate about this subject in my leadership role. I haven't yet given up on, on my dream. I'm still, I've still got that passion and drive inside of me to go and chase that. And with this partnership, it's enabling me to do that, giving me another string to my bow. And yeah, very proud to be, to be joining. Yeah, it's just the beginning of the journey and uh, it's just the start. exciting, it's exciting just start, started. absolutely. <laughs> Dipti, um, just sh shifting focus ever so slightly, can you talk a little bit about the similarities between the worlds of technology and, and, and the world of motorsport? Yeah, um, you look at that car and it has over 300 sensors on the car, um, um, 100,000 data points. 1.5 terabytes of data on in just one race. So when we think about AI and the impact of AI and what we could do at ARM, this is the testament, mm -hmm. is the epitome of the value creation of our AI technology and how we can apply that to something real, right? Um, and so that that was amazing to me when I when I visited the garage, looked at the engine, looked at how the car was built. And, it, it's just an amazing feat of engineering yeah. and, and, yeah. and engineered hard at first. And, and that, uh, that was, that was uh, awe-inspiring for me. And I think awe-inspiring for my team and the company and, and our organizations, right? Um, the second part of this was uh, very, very personal to me. Um, I met Jessica and you meet people in your career, in your life that you say, Wow, I want to, I want to see that person shine. I want to see them successful, and then you look at the environment in which that's uh, that that she's that she's in, and it's very similar to the environment that Ami, you and I are in. Yeah. Right. Um, and our female engineers in our company are in, um, very very um, highly uh, population wise male, yeah. right? And and. Um, and representation matters, yeah. right? And what better representation than Jessica, right? And so um, it was extremely personal to me from that angle. And the fact that we can create a partnership, a very, very unique partnership. I mean, it's really cool to see our brand on the car and I'm proud yeah. of that, right? But even more proud that our partnership can enable her to get in a car yeah. and shine. And that I think is, by far the, the proudest moment uh, of this partnership. No pressure, Jessica. <laughs> no pressure, Jessica. <laughs> you gotta I'm win. ready for you it. Win. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Charlie, um, as, as head of electronics at um, Aston Martin Aramco, I know that you've been working quite closely with Dipti's team over the past 12 months uh, on some really, really interesting and exciting technology projects. From that point of view, um, what excites you most about the partnership? Well, I think. With Formula One, you know, we're driven by performance and technology, yeah. and um, I think this uh, this technical partnership with ARM um, allows us to, um, you know, uh, drive that. Um, we can use the, uh, the the expertise and experience that ARM have to improve the performance of the car. You know, it's really really exciting. We can we can sort of streamline our processes from um, sort of concept through to development through to actually seeing things on the track much more quickly. We don't have to go through that sort of period of choosing stuff and you know, trying to work things out because it's it's already there. You guys already have it. So, you know, from that sort of side, it, it's really really exciting because we can we can we can get the performance that we want quicker. Yeah. Um, you know, as a team, um, we're on a journey at the moment. We've um, you know we've grown quite quickly. Um, there's a lot of investment in the team. We've got a new engine partner, and and now we have you guys as a partner as well. Um, so Arm as a partner, um, and with that, you know, we we're, we're constantly growing and we're trying to bring in new talent. And as, as Jessica said, you know. Um, we need to bring in people from different backgrounds, from a, a diverse sort of, of, of range of backgrounds. 
and hopefully we can inspire uh, young engineers, um, not just in Formula One, but also in technology like ARM as well, um, and, and give people that um, sort of encouragement to, to get involved. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, and the other thing, you know, you talked about pit stop system, you talked about data points and AI. Um, you know, I've been working closely with uh, with Dipti's team already. Um, it's been really, really exciting. Uh, there's so much enthusiasm and passion um, at ARM uh, for what we do as well. Um, you know, I'm hoping that um, an exchange program with engineers yeah. will uh, mm. allow people from ARM to to join us at Aston Martin, and similarly, people at Aston Martin can um, can spend some time at ARM, particularly around the AI platform. You know, that has such a lot of um, there's so much potential there for optimizing the performance of the car. Um, so get ready, ARM engineers. You're going <laughs> to be in the Aston uh, uh, garage helping these guys out. So I think that's that's a really Super cool, cool way yeah, to be yeah, able absolutely. to apply our engineering. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And the, the pit stop at under two seconds, maybe? Is that the yeah, challenge? Yeah, well, that's, that's the aim. So yeah. for, for, you know, we've, um, we've already um, been uh, developing our prototype system. Um, you know, the, the idea is a two second pit stop. So the car comes in, stops, changes all tires, and is gone again in under two seconds. Yeah. The only way we can do that is by having um, sort of well instrumenta sort of instrumentation and control systems around the pit stop system. And that's already got ARM technology in it. We've been developing that with ARM technology. Um, so that's really exciting. In the wind tunnel, you, I know you've yeah. talked a little yeah, bit about yeah. so, ARM inside the wind tunnel. So yeah, we've um, so just in instrumentation systems in general. Um, so we've got stuff that we're developing that's going on the car um, that we're going to introduce in 2025 and 2026. We've got a new wind tunnel that's coming online uh, this year, and again, the uh, the new models and in instrumentation systems on on the mod uh, in the wind tunnel have ARM technology in them. So it's really exciting. But then around that, you're then you know generating vast amounts of data. And we can, you know, make the the sort of optimization, the processing, the analysis of that data much more efficient. And we can take that time scale right down from from years worth of time down to days um, using AI. So. A piece of advice: don't put our own engineers on that uh, changing tire. <laughs> <laughs> we did like a team building with uh, the, the automotive team, yeah. where we did like a, a pseudo pit stop. Yeah. Um, How'd we do? I, I think we're about a minute. <laughs> a minute. So, so uh, yeah, maybe maybe in the the AI portion we can. Be yeah, happy. we want to help these guys get on the podium. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. exactly. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, okay, now I think we we're going to do a quick fire round to kind of finish it off. Thirty seconds maximum. Um, tell us the single most exciting or important thing for you personally about, and from a company perspective, about the partnership. One thing. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say the one thing, but I, I think if I were to sort of summarize the one thing, it's it's really about inspiring the, the next generation, the future generation. I mean, I spent some time with Jessica and, and just hearing your journey about you personally and, and what you have, have, have had to go through uh, to get to where you've been able to get to, I'm hoping that we can make a positive impact and change for the new gen for the next generation, this generation, and not only on the racetrack with the Formula One Academy and some of the, the programs and initiatives that we're planning on doing together, but really around STEM yep. and engineering, because that's a place that I'm deeply passionate about. So really it's around making that impact and, and change between the two companies that I'm mm -hmm. probably most excited about with this partnership. Brilliant. Jessica. Very similar similar, actually I think I think as Dipsy mentioned, this is bigger than just a sticker on a car, right. an arm sticker, and it's bigger than a partnership. This is something that we can truly make a change to the future generations too. And I think in years to come, we can look back and be very proud of what we're going to achieve together. Um, yeah. And we can, you know, I sit here and truly believe that we can make a difference in, in positive change and inspiring that younger generations. And together, it's um, it's very exciting. Charlie? Um, I'm I think I'm most excited about us working together to make the car go faster. Yeah. You know, ultimately, um, I would like to see ARM technology on a race car winning Grand Prix, um, and that's what that's what excites me the most about this. That too. <laughs> <laughs> we want to win. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Dipsy. Well, I mean, I'm still competitive. I want to see Jessica win. Yep. Uh, it's it's as simple as that. It's so it's inspiring to 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 see her on the car and get her to, to race. And and then as an ARM um, Aston team, to cheer you on. I'm excited to have you You're all there. Brilliant. I mean, from, from F1 Academy to the exchange program to hearing about ARM-based technology, this partnership is, is so exciting, both on and off the track. Um, we can't wait to get going. 
Um, yeah. Thank you all very much. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll keep everyone updated on developments. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.